Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my playlist where we are talking about microservices. Okay. And in the last video we decided that uh, we are going to just play with the simple hello world set of microservices using either express javascript or express typescript. And then we are going to use uh, express typescript and you, we will use monorepo and all those concepts. Currently, we are starting with a single repository, right? Okay, like uh, one repository will contain the whole application. And when we are talking about monorepo, in that case, because I'm going to talk about lots of examples and lots of code. So it's better to create a monorepo and where I can create a NX monorepo with PNPM that I will explain what it is. NX with PNPM as a workspace. And here you can create all different applications. Either you wanted to use Express or Next.js, all these applications we can put inside this. And if we are using some reusable packages, which we can use across all different services, we can do that. So it's like a package that we can add here and that package will be a part of i mean whatever the common utilities and all you can put that here so monorepo we are going to use nx for that i will attach the reference okay where should you look for nx nx and uh, we are going to use a pnpm workspace so currently like, when you are doing a single repository what you do is you just do npm init or npm in it I mean pnpm is also a package manager same as npm in it I think or yarn in it there should be some command to initialize your first package JSON and then you start adding the dependencies like this npm install minus minus save package name or you can do pnpm add if you are using pnpm as a package manager package name or yarn add So these are like some basic commands based on what package manager you are using you will start adding the dependency if you talk about express javascript it's like a simple express app you are building so let's say somebody told you so this is your team and they need a maybe a simple lambda simple lambda or simple api which is not even you using some kind of authentication you wanted to provide some public api which is listing you list of countries and list of cities countries and cities obviously for those things i will not write an apis i can use simple json server json server is npm module you just supply the json and it will create a simple crud for you okay let's say there is a some kind of apis you are going to build so what are the options you can choose to build these kind of api platform right so that thing we are going to talk about so currently we are just only talking about express typescript not express javascript but let's say you have a freedom to choose something and you wanted to just make it a little really quick where you can just do simply node node index.js and your application is up and running on some xx port right you can just use express javascript that provides a simple mvc model or if you wanted to use typescript then you can use express typescript I mean here we are not talking about any framework here we are talking only about just a simple service that can act as a microservice because that service should be doing a defined logic let's say i just wanted to create a simple authentication api or i just wanted to create a simple crud uh, let's say i wanted to create a simple blog api okay we are creating let's say udemy platform and uh, there is an operation there is a service which which allows you to rate a particular course right rate a course so you will define a model you will define all the attributes and here it is nothing but a crud operation what you need to check is the user should be logged in and user can rate the existing course which he has already bought right those are the set of courses which user can rate you don't even need to validate okay this course has been purchased by the user or not 
there can be another service can validate that you can just create a record okay if i wanted to review add a public review about a particular course i should be able to do it so it's like a review system you are building and you want you can create that application using express javascript or express typescript okay because that's a defined service going to have one or two tables and you are going to write a CRUD operations to add a review to a particular course id so here you can just do lots of things so here is the express framework and you can just use express framework with javascript that's a simple one like this is how you do it npm in it and entry point is the index.js you can just node index.js okay that will give you this type of express app we can start uh, playing with these things like okay what it is going to provide us express generator there is a express generator is a library i will just check where it is there should be an express generator express application generator something like this right so what we are doing here is you just install express generator globally once it is done you can simply do express application name and you can specify the the view engine because you can use node.js to do server side rendering of the pages and let's do first uh, to some project I already have created a github repository I will share with that because currently we haven't started the mono repo and all we are just playing with a single repository okay microservices so I can just do npm in it or I can just do express applications and uh, what application it has created my app We can just open this and this is how it looks like it's nothing but it's like plain javascript there is no typescript so you don't need a ts config there is no test setup there so you don't need just here you just need a node bin ww so there is a uh, inside bin there is a root file which we are executing it's like a http server so when you do is npm install first of all so all the dependencies can be installed I mean everybody knows how to create a hello world APIs in the node.js I'm just covering it so that we can know that we are starting from zero to hero and then I can just do npm run go to your package JSON npm run start so it will start the application on particular port and that port is okay that port is not defined here here we can set the debug mode So here we are starting uh, this is giving us the app instance and here we are starting this application on to let's see the port we can just set the debug mode okay the port is 3000 okay so when you try to do curl localhost You will get this page right uh, the welcome page welcome to the express and all because this is auto generated now if you wanted to add a new routes and all you can do it easily so here uh, i have a user router let's say i wanted to create another route profile then you can create a profile router i mean i hope you already know how to write a simple express app it's MVC application and then here we are saying is profile router users and profile routes and profile so there is a routes here I will create a same as users I will create a profile profile is also have the same thing responded with the resource now what you can do is you can extend this example services 
so from the routes you can call the services you can have a model because obviously it's not like we are going to write a hello world we are going to have a services that that is going to access the model even if you have a database like let's say you can use just a simple postgres or in database or mongodb database and all that you can attach it so it's like you can extend this and then further you can just add the required file you can add a dot env and add a dot env dot example because might be you are using some environment variable apart from using just a port okay and then you can, I can add a new module npm install minus minus save dot env right and inside app.js app we can require this dot env i think you can just simply write require dot config dot env dot config that is a disadvantage of javascript you don't know like what all methods are available and I'm not even sure if this is the right value. Okay, there is a dot env and dot uh, env module does exist. It will look for dot env and it will put all those things. Let's say I'm just putting port equal to 3003. Now it will read this dot uh, env. So what we are doing, we are requiring dot env module and loading the configuration. It will load this dot env and it will put all those things inside a process dot env. I do know I made some mistakes always. It's not dot env. It's a dot env package. So let's install the correct package first. And inside this, it will become dot env. Dot config. You can see this method. It is going to load this env and it will make all the variables available inside this. okay rest apart from that you can install all the other dependencies let's say you are using jest for the testing and all so npm install minus minus save jest what other modules uh, we can add i mean we are not writing typescript so mm -hmm. there is no point of adding eslint but we can add a uh, husky Pretty year. I mean, those are like dev dependencies we are adding, so let's add them as a dev dependency. Just has keep pretty year. So, all the other required dependencies, which so we already know how to baseline a repository, right? So, all those dependencies you can add and make this application production ready. You just add a nice readme file, define all, all the instructions which you need. Further, we can install uh, Husky, Husky hooks, and then uh, commit lint conventions that we can add inside of dev dependencies. Okay, and inside our package JSON, we can specify the commit lint configuration. And then we can just do npm run. Pretty right. There may be some issues, we'll fix that. Okay, and able to find modules, prettier being prettier. npm run lint. So we will fix the dependencies, which it is complaining. It's a JavaScript project. So we also need to have a prettier RC and prettier ignore. ESLint RC, ESLint ignore and all those files. So this is prettier ignore, ESLint RC. Now we don't need a complex ESLint because we are not writing ty TypeScript. The, we can even skip this plugin system. ESLint recommended. We can just keep ESLint recommended. Or so do we need to specify? Not sure. Let's try this. And there are some rules. Let's keep these rules empty. 
so this is like it will going to apply ESLint recommended rules on our project so here we can extend this example any longer like npm run there are these different commands npm run test which is using jest right so i just added a simple jest config currently there are no test files so you can have like let's say underscore underscore test and inside that you can create api folder or a unit test i mean whatever you wanted to do and then you can just do npm run test and then npm run format that is using prettier npm run dev there are other commands also which you can execute with uh, express app so what all i mean you can set a debug mode like debug equal to my app npm start if you want to add some kind of logging you can do that debug equal to my app npm run start that is inside a package json okay that application is started and uh, i mean this is how the the whole folder structure looks like now you can do lots of things you can also also create a middleware because this is express it is not enforcing you to follow a particular structure we can uh, understand a little bit on database so there are mongodb models you can create database it will contain database connections middleware services i mean uh, currently we have routes but from routes you can follow the mvc pattern and you can create a controller also so there are two different approach of uh, following a uh, different folder based approach something like this i will try to draw it so here we are using express app right so this is like let's say express app either you can use a folder based approach where let's say i'm you creating user now it will, it will have a user dot routes dot js user dot model user dot validator dot js i mean you put everything inside this folder user dot service dot js and user dot controller so how we do in the mvc pattern is the route is will get the control and from routes we will get the go to the controller okay from controller we will go to our service and before you go to the controller you will do the validation of like payload validations and all different kind of validations url parameter and all then you will go to the service service will use models to read write and update right so this is like a plain and simple mvc model we follow for any kind of structure or you can create all these folders and the root okay like let's say the routes inside that you can create a user dot routes dot js profile dot routes dot js right or you create a middleware and inside middleware you can just do cookie dot parser because you wanted to apply some custom function auth dot middleware dot js logger dot middleware dot js right so you just can create these folders inside a root and define all of these things you can create a service then user service profile service and you can create a middleware services routes controller or you can just create a folder and put all those things together now external utilities comes like okay there is a database database is like common so you can create a database folder same as we are doing here you can put all the middlewares here and your application will be starting from this we can create a custom server.js or index.js in the outside okay so this is an express app obviously we won't be just using this to deploy our application we now we are using express type script and all if whatever we built either a simple hello world or rest apis you should always use the the 
production ready boilerplate or production ready framework let's say you can still use express but use now with the typescript and you can configure everything env because we are later we are going to talk about 12 factor principles to build a simple uh, microservice that is talking about configuration management logger management and i uh, environment isolations how we are segregating a different environments how we are segregating a different database for different database uh, different environment okay how, how we are defining the different models right so all 12 factor principles applies to any particular service so you can see this is app.js which is central file here we are registering all the middlewares and here we are registering all the routes and we are then we are listening to a particular port this is a global error handler if any route throws an error that will be handled by this okay a uh, pretty much simple express app you can extend this based on your need i try to add a just config prettier eslint rc eslint rc.js all the the global required things you can have a test uh, you can write a unit test and integration test husky just for creating a hook here when you are doing commit we should be able to format the code and run the tests and whatever we want and commit lint is for adding the commit conventions to our commits we are making so we have commit lint enabled so whenever i just try to add a commit it will just do the format and then it will ask you what is a bug feature uh, build fix style refactoring or performance any change right so that is possible because here we are using this uh, cz cli or cz conventional change we are using lots of modules for them and here this is all single repository so i mean for single repository also we are putting all these modules and then required modules cookie parser we need we need body parser debug dot env we don't need this that's not dot env express 4.16 http errors morgan is a logger pug is for a template engine these are some of the dependencies we are using for our application eslint rc or eslint validations prettier rc these are the prettier rules you are going to run against all the files that has been changed env example so we are using dot env to load this dot env example into our process dot env just config readme uh, even if you are using some kind of a database like mongodb and all then you can create a docker compose file and make this independent application production ready so that's it now in the next video we can talk about express typescript single repo structure